Hi, if this is your first time here, welcome to my YouTube channel. Or if you're like me and you've been here before, welcome back. I'm Chaotic Curl. And in today's video, we're actually gonna be making a cat ear beanie that I saw on Pinterest and I was actually inspired. I was able to find a pattern, which I did make sure to link down below. It's from Blackstone Designs. It is a free crochet pattern. So I'm gonna be taking inspiration from that pattern and well, following some of the steps as well, since it's a very easy pattern to follow and a very easy design to make. But before we get into that, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to check out the link down below if you do wanna make this pattern yourself. I'm just gonna be putting everything together or making it, so I am gonna be giving you guys basic instructions on how to do it, but of course, you do get better instructions off of the pattern that I'm gonna be following as well. And also don't forget to follow me over on my Instagram and on my TikTok where I will be posting reels and TikToks for the holiday season, for winter as well as for the holidays that are going to be coming up like Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's and all the other holidays that follow and fall in between. So don't forget to check out, check me out over there. Now for today's pattern or for today's project, the yarn that I'm going to be using is actually going to be this Premier Basics yarn. It's in the color Lullaby and as you can see it has very very pretty pastel colors. I am in love with the way that it looks in the skein so I know I'm gonna absolutely love it once the project has been completed and I'm also tempted to use my knitting machine to make a scarf but that's gonna be in another video. The hook that I'm gonna be using to make this project, the yarn actually calls for a 5.5 millimeter hook. So here is my favorite, an aluminum hook. <laughs> this is the yarn, this is the hook that I'm gonna be using for this project. So let's get started. I did also make sure to link or to list, not link, to list down below the other items that I did use, like my scissors and any stitch markers. So don't forget to check out the description box before we get started on this project, just so that you have all of your materials and everything ready to go once we're ready to get started. But let's get started. Okay, and just a little bit of information before we get started. I was just reading the pattern and it does state that we're gonna be working in a half double crochet and in the back loop. So you should make sure that you do know how to half double crochet and how to work stitches in the back loop since it is gonna give us that ribbing effect that we want for this beanie. So now we're actually ready to get started. The first steps is going to be to make a chain of 75 since I am making the adult size beanie. So I'm just gonna get started by making my chain and then I'm gonna start off on my first row of half double crochets. That's gonna be half double crocheting. After I finish my 75 chains, I'm gonna half double crochet into the second chain from my hook and we'll continue from there. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what that looks like.
<laughs> okay, it's a little difficult to see. Oh, there it is, a little better. So this is the first row of half double crochet completed. So now I'm just going to chain one because I don't like doing the chain two for half double crochets. I feel like it leaves a gap that I don't want there. So I'm just gonna do the chain one. And now I'm actually gonna switch angles so that I can show you guys how to half double crochet in the back loop. So let's do that. Okay, so as you can see, we are now looking at the top of the project and you can see in each stitch, there's two loops in the V. So two legs. So you have that one in the front and this one in the back. So what we just do here is we prepare our half double crochet as we normally would. So I have my loop, we're gonna yarn over and instead of going all the way through the stitch like you normally would like that, we're actually gonna go in through the back loop. So this little back loop there, go through there, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. And then we would just repeat the same thing. So we yarn over, preparing for our half double crochet, go into that next stitch and go through that back loop, yarn over, pull through, we have our three loops on the hook, we yarn over and we pull through all three. And you just continue that way. So looking at the top of the project, again, you yarn over, go through that back leg of the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. And then once again, yarn over and pull through all three loops. And that's how you have double crochet into the back loop. And it's actually gonna leave that little ridge from the front loop over and that's how you create the ribbing. So I'm just gonna continue from here following the pattern by half double crocheting into the back loops of all of these stitches and I'll show you guys what this row looks like once it's done. Okay, so here is what those two rows look like completed and as you can see, or I hope you can see, that little ridge there is going to be what makes it look like it's ribbing. So this is what it looks like so far. And I actually did get started on the third row with that first half double crochet in the back loop. So I'm just gonna continue every row the same way, working with the half double crochet into the back loops. And I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like once it's halfway, just so you can see the ribbing a little bit more. But this is how it's going so far. and. Again, the pattern just says to continue the same way, so I'm just gonna continue with the same way. This is what it looks like on the back. As you can see, the back looks pretty smooth, but the front, that pattern is what we're going for here, that little ridge, that little lump in between the two rows. So I'm just gonna continue this way, and of course, like I said, I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like once I'm halfway, so you can see what that ribbing looks like a little bit farther into the project, and then I'll come back and show you guys what, it's, what it looks like once it's done, but this is what the second row looks like, or this is what that ribbing looks like once you get started. So as promised, I'm about halfway through and this is what the ribbing looks like. You can see all the little ridges. This is the back side. This is what the front is looking like. And I am really liking the way that the colors look together and the way that everything is working up. So I'm just gonna continue from here. And again, I'll just show you guys what it looks like once I'm done and I'm ready to sew together the sides and of course, add the accents for the ears, but this is what it looks like so far.
Okay, I made it out to 25 rows. So now the next thing the pattern calls for is to sew everything together vertically. So I'm just gonna fold it in half. I'll make sure to pin the sides up. I'm just gonna sew these two sides together and then I'll come back and I'll add the, sew the thread for the ears as well. And I'll show you guys what it looks like done. Okay, so instead of sewing the edges together, I'm actually half double crocheting them together. So it's kind of like how I did when I double crocheted in my color block cardigan, which I'll make sure to link down below. But I'm just doing the half double crochet. I'm going to go into the next stitch. So in this case, it would be here. Pull my loop through and then half double crochet into the next space like normal. And then again into that next stitch pull my loop through and half double crochet like normal and I've just been doing that up the entire row and I did it on the other side as well so that way it's an invisible seam so I'm just gonna continue that way and then I'll sew the corners for the ears and i'll show you guys what it looks like done but just one more time have my loop go into the loop for that next space pull my loop through and then half double crochet like normal And I'll just continue this until I'm finished. Here is the completed beanie. As you can see, the cat ears are perfect. I absolutely love the way that it looks. Let me give you guys a full 360. That's what it's looking like. Don't forget, again, to check in the description box below for the link if you'd like to make one of these hats as well. And again, don't forget to check me out on Instagram and on TikTok where you'll be able to see reels and TikToks of this hat as well. It was super fast to make. I absolutely love this colorway. I'm definitely going to be making this again. And I hope to see you guys in my next video where I'll be making something that's definitely going to be matching this because I totally love, love, love this colorway of the yarn so i'll definitely be making something to match i'll see you guys in the next video i hope you had fun making whatever it was that you were making and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one <laughs> bye